Hi everybody, we want to present you our robotic manipulator able to move and distinguish objects based on their colors that was programmed on the working environment Simulink. To build the robot we used a LEGO kit Mindstorm EV3 supported by other standard LEGO brick to build a support structure for manipulator and sensor color and to build colored boxes where stored the objects. In addition, we extended the system with a conveyor belt connected to sensor color by cardboard bridge. Let's talk about Simulink implementation. As we can see, this model contains many blocks. In particular, on the left, three encoders, one for tongues, one for arm, and one for base. On the right, three motors, always one for each part. The first subsystem we created is the so-called initial state that contains the beginning control of each motors and brings the robot to its absolute initial position of reference. Each block has a reference and error signal as input to PID controller and again in series. whereas the subsystem main state adjusts the normal working operation. It is composed, like before, by the motor control of tongs, arm and base. Inside the tongs block there are two branches, one for closing and one for opening. In the arm block there are again two branches, one for raising and one for lowering. In the base block there are four branches, Three for reaching boxes position, based on color recognized by sensor, and one for the return to initial position. On the top, we declared seven global variables for each references used inside the subsystems, in order to update them to the next position to reach. We see also the subsystem conveyor belt. However, the heart of our model is the state flow chart. In fact, all the input and output signals of subsystems, encoders and motors communicate thanks to it. The instrument that allow us to model the chart are states, which represent a manipulator condition, transitions, which are directional arrow and connect the various states through condition to be satisfied, and junction, which are circles and link together more transitions. When the simulation starts, we can see the progress of the flow, and so the operative condition where robot is. In fact, the current state is highlighted by color blue. First of all, manipulator moves into initial position, driven by subsystem initial state. Then, if error tolerance are satisfied, the conveyor belt places the object on sensor. When a valid color is detected, the arm starts moving down, driven by subsystem main state. Now the chart splits in three parts, similar between them, one for red, one for blue and one for yellow. In this case is the red ones. Each branch has three states, respectively for closing tongues, raising arm and turning base. Then reached the box position, the arm goes down and tongues release the object. Finally, Manipulator returns in its initial position, and so restarts with another iteration. Ha, ha, ha.